Hi, Mike Bender here. You know, there's nothing more frustrating than hitting two good shots and you just barely miss the green and now you've got a pretty simple chip and then you stub it into the ground or scull it over the green. And I see so many people struggle with their chipping. Now we have to look at why that is. And in most cases, what I see is an overuse of the smaller muscles of your wrist and arms where you get nervous, your arms, you know, anytime you get nervous, your hands are the first thing that shake. And so if I'm around that green and I'm getting really wristy, boy, I've got to have perfect timing to hit good shots. So what I want to show you here is the TGT from Da Vinci Sports. And what this can help you to do is hit the three most important chip shots, which are low ones, medium, and high. Just with a simple setting here, this is called the small arm. And if I'm going to hit a low chip and run or a low shot where I have a lot of green to work with, all I've got to do is place the ball back get the TGT trainer in the arm with the ball right against my left arm. Now the key is, is to continue to have contact all the way through the shot. The mistake we see is people may start this way, they're in a good position, but as they come in, they have that wrist action and all of a sudden now you've lost that contact and now they're flipping at the bottom. So if I set up here, I got the ball back, my weight on my left side and I've got this contact, I just maintain that contact all the way through. And you can see, when you finish, you need to hold that finish so that you can, you can test yourself and make sure it's there. If you happen to flip it, then you can just put it back and pretty soon after a few shots, you're gonna maintain that contact point and you're gonna, your low shots are gonna fly the way you want them and consistent and also the contact is gonna improve. Now to hit a medium shot, all I've gotta do is just set up a little differently. I'm put the ball in the middle. Now you can see the trainer is in between the wrists. So it works both ways. If I take it back, it's going to hit my arm. And if I come through, it's going to hit my trail arm. So the idea would be to take the wrist out of it again, start to use the bigger muscles of the body, start to get them more involved, and try to keep this right in between your wrists. So again, it produces that instant feedback if you're doing it wrong. So on a medium shot, I'm just going to take it back. I call it kind of a stiff wrist method for medium trajectory. So it's pretty simple and all of a sudden you get the rhythm going, you get your body synced up with your arms and now you're hitting that medium shot more solid and more consistent. And then the harder shot for all of us, anytime we're trying to hit that ball high over a bunker or something, you know, that becomes a problem as well. And so with this, so now all we do is we lay the handle back a little bit so the trainer is resting against the trail arm now. So we've just reversed that. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep it in contact, again, taking the wrist out. Because if I hinge that wrist, now I'm going to probably add some wrist into the ball. And now I'm going to suffer with the contact and the consistency. So if I can keep it against the trail arm, make a few practice swings, keep my weight left, now I can go ahead and hit the high shot. So you can see when I was finished there, everything went together. The club face stayed open. So this really as simple as it is, produces great feedback to hit all the chip shots that you need to have around the greens. For more information and tips, please visit davincisports.net and experience the feel.